sister, baby. My mama told me, son, always be a good boy. Don't ever play with God. Hey, what's going on, guys? Just wanted to give you a quick Chrono Zen update. So as you guys know, a couple of days ago, PlayStation 5 for Sony uh, released an update that appears to block the Chrono Zen gaming device. And for those of you who aren't familiar with this channel, I'm actually one of the original beta testers for the Chrono Zen. Well, actually, so much not the beta testing program, but I was one of the first customers. In fact, I put up like the second video that was ever up on the Chrono Zen. Been playing around a lot with it. But apparently, uh, a lot of there's been a lot of complaining. A lot of people have been really unhappy with a lot of the auto aim, auto assess, things of that nature, uh, in regards to games like Co uh, Call of Duty and so forth. And so, Sony finally decided to bring down the ban hammer on the controversial gaming adapter. Now, I primarily use the device for a lot of my single board computers and also retro gaming, as well as being able to play. Uh, with a second person I record my gameplay it also allows you to do easy fatalities with one press of a button but the other cool thing about the Chrono Zen and some of these gaming adapters is that it allows for accessibility and allows it easy it's easier for people who may have a disability uh, to be able to play games the way they want to play and so unfortunately they are also now affected and quite recently we also had uh, Xbox Microsoft they blocked the uh, gaming adapter which is also known as Brooks now apparently the official Kronos response that which was released after this update was released was that hey we're aware of the issue that the Zen and the PS5 as of the January 24th the console is prompting everyone to update to version 24.01 uh, 8.60.00 and if you do the Zen will no longer connect to the PlayStation 5 without disconnecting now you can play remotely through PS4 remote or uh, PlayStation remote uh, I don't spend too much time on the Sony not too familiar with that but you can do it that way however it's my understanding that it is a little choppy and a little bit laggy however this update is not mandatory please simply skip it and everything should still work with the Zen 2.2.2 update as expected there is currently no timetable on a fix so please don't be offended if you're directed to check this notice when asking for any kind of ETA it could be 24 hours 24 days 24 months we won't know until we've dug into it this notice will be updated as soon as we have more information we appreciate your patience temporary solution do not update the PS5 system OS or use the PS5 uh, or use the PS5 remote play uh, workaround, which is the one that I just uh, recently mentioned. And so, you know, a lot of people were happy about this. Uh, I know that there were some updates with Ricochet within the gaming system. I don't spend too much time playing Call of Duty, but it was my understanding that if you are using auto aim or something of that nature, uh, it would detect you and then the players in front of you would then disappear. And then, of course, that would kind of out you as to using uh, the uh, the Chronos in device. Call of Duty players have used unauthorized third party hardware such as Zim and Chronos Zen to benefit from the likes of aim assist and reduced recoil while using mouse and keyboard for years. Activision said in 2023 its anti cheat tech ricochet would detect their use and bans would follow for repeat offenders. Now, following the release of the PS5 firmware update, Chronos has issued a statement which we just read. The blog had warned issue, uh, warn users not to update their console while it works on a fix we're aware of the issue with the zen ps5 okay we already read all of that and so uh while sony did not reference chrono zen in his update patch notes it does seem clear uh the firmware has targeted or has targeted the product um i think there are some other gaming adapters that were also targeted i can't confirm that um, I will go over several fixes here in just a few minutes uh, it is a move widely welcomed by the gaming community the top post on the modern warfare 3 subreddit praise sony to all chronos users what a bad investment huh uh snoo tigers 8974 wrote to everyone else have fun playing with legitimate players for once a step in the right direction added a, another user so uh in october 2023 xbox banned unauthorized controllers and accessories which it, which is what i was alluding to earlier uh referring to like the chronos not the chronos i'm sorry but the brick gaming adapter Fortnite developer Epic Destiny, developer Bungie, and Rainbow Six 
Siege developer Ubisoft have all done the same. Now, with all of this being said, there are, to my understanding, um, I do have a PlayStation 5 now. Uh, there are some possible workarounds. Now, if you guys are familiar, a few months ago, I did a video on the uh, B Savior adapter. And I do believe that may allow you to work right now. I have not fully got into it. I will test it. And then there's also the B Savior Elite controller, which has additional scripts built in. So um, I'm not sure if the PlayStation 5 that I have right in front of me has been updated. I will test those out in the next coming days. I do know that other people have hinted as to downgrading your firmware. Definitely don't believe that that's possible uh, as far as being able to download that. But some people have said if you were able to do that, then that would also fix it as well. So uh, I'm also going to test the Titan 2 gaming adapter to see if that works because obviously uh, there's not a lot of people with the Titan 2 adapter. So I will double check that uh, when I get a chance. Make sure you guys subscribe to my notification boards as well as my other public uh, social media and I will keep you posted with that. So uh, we will be testing that the B Savior U5 gaming adapter as well as the B Savior uh, it's the Sony B Savior Elite controller. Uh, show those off here on the channel. That retails for about fifty, one hundred and fifty nine dollars, I do believe, uh, correctly. And then we will test the Kronos Max. I'm not sure if that's uh, been on their checklist for a while. And so uh, the other device, the U B Savior U5, is a pass through device uh, that was just recently released. Oh man, back in early, I want to say late September, early October. So that recently just came out. And so that may be a potential workaround uh, right now for you to possibly use the Chronos. And again, uh, I don't know too many people who have it. I have not fully tested it. So just letting you guys know that is on the radar and other people have confirmed that they have been able to use that uh, while playing Call of Duty and playing on PlayStation. So with that being said, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I will keep you updated into any additional progresses. If uh, Kronos team uh, releases an update, you guys will hear it in my Facebook groups as well as here on the channel as well. But yeah, you know, it definitely sucks. I mean, I understand the frustration for a lot of people who don't like cheating, but uh, or referring to like the auto aim, auto assist and other games. But there's plenty of uses for the Kronos. And again, I use it for... Uh, some additional gameplay like you can record your controls if you want to use it for let's say Street Fighter use uh, a couple of buttons or or in a systematic process to do some combos uh, if you're playing games such as let's say Mortal Kombat you want to you don't want to remember all the fatalities especially for some of the older retro games and stuff where you got to sit there and do like seven or different commands you can just press a button it will do the fatality for you so I, I can definitely understand that then of course too with the adaptive gaming devices like your Logitech adaptive controller as well as as, uh, some of the other ones that are out there that could greatly impact your uh, gaming ability especially if uh, you're using it for accessibility reasons because keep in mind not everybody can hold a controller just like the next person and so those uh, universal gaming controllers the Logitech and I did believe that Sony released theirs too uh, that would impact them as well because uh, I know I did never got a chance to do videos on that in terms of accessibility and using the chronos in and so forth but uh, they would be impacted now however if you are using an Xbox and a pl and a PC this does not affect you directly right now this is only affecting Sony players but you know again too if you guys are in the retro gaming and I've told you guys this and we've talked about this too. You know, a lot of people were really upset when Xbox banned the third party uh, adapters. And it's because in or and they also the controllers, because a lot of these companies, they don't go out and get licenses like Brooks. Like how do they make money for all those years and never become an official uh, sponsorship or official license dealer with uh, with Xbox in that particular case? But. Uh, and then, of course, when that happened, they never mentioned Sony. And so, as you can see, that a lot of these console manufacturers have full control over how their system works. And if you're using third-party adapters, third-party controllers, those are just things to somewhat be very mindful of. Uh, we haven't heard what Nintendo's going to do. In, in fact, as far as I know, they're the only company that hasn't released any type of controller restrictions, whether it have been third-party controllers or things like... Uh, the Chrono Zen or Chronos Max X or the uh, Titan 2 gaming adapter, 
But uh, who knows? I mean, that's also up for debate, and that's also another possibility as well. And then, of course, you also have uh, some of the other systems, like the retro gaming front ends, which I've talked about here on this channel quite extensively. Uh, they have a lot of control to block out certain things, too, so it's just something to be mindful of. But at any rate, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'll be back with more information. We'll be doing a lot of heavy-duty testing this week to see which other gaming adapters, if any, have been affected. And uh, I will give you guys a follow-up update and let you guys know my findings. So with that being said, like and subscribe. KDK Keeldike in here. I will catch you guys later. Peace out and have a great day. Bye-bye.